Will this tape prove to be a harrowing drama that captivates us with its explorations of faith, survival, culture, and political corruption? <laughs> or will it be an insipid, aimless, boring nightmare featuring an incompetent and annoying chipmunk who's constantly putting everyone around him in danger and s sometimes mentions Jesus' name? I am Tape Goat, and Jesus Christ in heaven, please graciously unalive this religious rodent. Today, we're going to talk about... Chatter's Fiesta Adventure, starring Chatter Chipmunk. Jesus, you me to be brave. That chipmunk is a dangerous criminal. <gasps> I've had about enough of this church talk. In fact, I got a song for you about that. And here we have the tape, everybody. And as you can see, this cover is a complete and total abomination. You can see Chatter's stupid face, his big, dumb, empty eyes staring off into the abyss, probably thinking about Jesus or something. He's also got a sombrero and maracas. Racist. And after a thorough inspection, you can see no barcode. When you take a look at the back here, you can see it gets even worse. It just doesn't work for me. It doesn't suit my aesthetic taste. Get fired up about Jesus with Chatter Chipmunk and his friends. You got the cast here, which is useless because nobody knows who any of these people are. They're nobodies. I hate this tape. Pop that one off. Nice and smooth. Pretty bare bones label. Uh, like the rest of the box, I freaking hate it. And there's no runtime, so it's goddamn useless. And there you have it, everybody. The tape. This tape marks what is always an exciting development in the Tape Goat analog universe, which is, of course, when we welcome back a returning talent. Everybody, welcome back to the show. Esteemed director of the classic series, Awesome Bible Adventures, close and personal friend of mine. Everybody give it up for David Priest. My guy Priest is a born Coloradan and supposedly still lurks about these territories. Teaching workshops at CU Boulder and based on my findings, this guy is just a consummate director for hire and he knows how to work. And evidently he loves God, so good for him. He's been hustling since the mid 80s and ain't nothing can stop this guy. Love you, buddy, talk soon. Today's tape is Mr. Priest at his micro budget finest with consumer grade production design galore. By the end of this video, we're gonna see if Chatter's Adventures makes us feel closer to Jesus or tied up in bed with Satan. Now that we've given a brief show of respect to the dedicated talent, Let's talk about the tape, shall we? Chatter's Adventures was a series that ran from 2002 to 2014. This episode aired in 2006. The tape starts with a text that reads day one. And I don't know about you, but there's something oddly sinister about it. No time is wasted before we're hanging out with Chatter the Chipmunk, who's stressing about some kind of Spanish exam. Oh no. Hola, Dose. Chatter. What are you doing? Hi, Miranda. I'm studying for my big Spanish test next week. Chatter's outlook is pretty hopeless. I said, are you going to get a good grade? C. Good. C means yes. No, I mean C or C minus or F plus. I hate to say it, but his lack of self esteem is pretty well earned. You'll see in time. Chatter is a needy, incompetent, and selfish little asshole. Chatter's unquestionably patient friend Miranda sweeps in to take him to her grandpa's fiesta. I can help you learn Spanish, Chatter. I can teach you on the way to the fiesta. The what? Which, apparently, Chatter should have known about and was even put in charge of games, but he forgot. Don't you remember? My grandpa Lisa's having a party. I told you about this last week. You were in charge of the games. Like watermelon ping pong? Strike one, Chatter. In order to make it to this birthday, they apparently got to rough it through the deserts of Arizona. There's just one catch. Grandpa Luis lives on a ranch past the town of Mi Barrio. We'll have to cross the desert to get there. We'll have to ramburo. Apparently, Grandpa likes things a little off the grid. You know, maybe he's a little bit of a doomer. Maybe had an account on Parlor in his day. Who knows? So their first approach to braving this desert is to hop on a couple of cute ass little donkeys and hitch a ride. So Chatter commits another act of dumbassery and gives these burros M&Ms. Here you go, and here you go. Uh-oh. Wow, 
I wonder what they would do if you gave them a Snickers bar. Strike two, Chatter. Don't you know you're not supposed to give donkeys M&Ms? Because they'll done run off. It's common sense. It's because of this that they decide they're going to hike through the Arizona desert. They're going to make this birthday, or they're going to die trying. Now we're stranded, and it must be 110 degrees out here. Now calm down, Chatter. At least our canteens are full of water. Water? I fill mine with M&Ms. Chatter reveals that they have already shit the bed yet again. They filled their canteen with M&Ms instead of water. This Chatter's got quite the smooth brain. Don't worry, Chatter. You can have some of mine. Thanks, Miranda. I'll drink for five seconds. Let's see. It's uh, 20 seconds after three. So Miranda selflessly offers her water, which Chatter promptly dumps out onto the ground in another act of unmitigated negligence, putting both of their lives at further risk. Boo, Chatter, you suck! So right off the bat, they're struggle bussing. Miranda must be scared to incur the wrath of Grandpa because they just keep struggling on. I don't think I can make it, Miranda. You can turn back if you want to, Chatter, but I can't let Grandpa Luis down. This is where the tape gives us our first drive-by Jesus talk, and it's super jarring. I want to be a true friend, too. Like Jesus. Jesus is my forever friend. Like seriously, nothing set up prior to this could have prepared us for any kind of religious messaging. They just abruptly and casually invoke the name of Jesus. Then it becomes a Spanish lesson. What would you like to tell Grandpa Luis at the fiesta? How about happy birthday? Okay, repeat after me. Feliz cumpleaños. Fleas camp where? And poor Miranda, she knows she travels with an idiot. And yet she accepts. So they take a little break and take the opportunity to see what game Chatter is bringing to the party. Tell me about the game for the fiesta. You mean, tape the tail on the chipmunk? Right. How does it work? Well, you take this picture, and you put it on the wall. And it gets blown away in a dust storm. A dust storm? We gotta take cover. Come on. Duck! Thanks, Miranda. That's a present for Even though the show has established zero stakes and uh, or any driving action to the plot, there is a pointless TV serial-esque cliffhanger that just shows up in the middle of the episode. Is Chatter a wanted chipmunk? Will he and Miranda make it through the desert? Will they ever get to the fiesta? Don't miss the dehydrating developments when Chatter's fiesta adventure continues. Then we get another eerie found footage title. Day two. So they've been stranded in the middle of the desert without water for a full day. I hate to tell you, they're gonna die. So the party game blows out of the desert and sticks onto a stand covered in wanted posters. Which of course leads us into our B-plot, in which a dipshit sheriff named Arnie Fluke runs for re-election in the county. Given that this was shot and presumably takes place in the famously batshit territory of Maricopa County, naturally leads me to accept him as a stand-in for Sheriff Joe Arpaio. So an evil dumb racist will run with that. I'm the only thing between them, all those criminals. He's looking to make a big arrest to stir up some positive press for his next election. What we need is an issue. If you're going to get reelected, you need to protect the people of this town from a dangerous criminal. His campaign manager, Miss Stickler, looks an awful lot like Carol Maggio. Just pointing that out, making connections. Just a moment. I don't recall seeing this poster before. Is that a chipmunk? They notice that Chatter's dumbass looking party game landed on top of a wanted poster, leading them to believe that he's a wanted criminal. Well, say he's a thief, a bank robber. He steals banks? Whatever. And when you capture him single-handedly... What if I have to use both hands? I mean, with the paper cut and all. It doesn't matter. Either way, you'll win the election. Meanwhile, back in the desert, Miranda and Chatter recover from the dust storm. That dust storm was pretty nasty, Chatter. Too bad it didn't co cool things off. I still feel like I'm getting extra crispy. Then the hallucinations begin. Hey, what's that up ahead? Maybe it's a mirage. A what? You know, that's when the heat plays tricks on you. Chatter collapses from heat stroke and things actually look pretty dire. The heat isn't playing tricks on me. I just need to rest. Chatter, are you all right? Oh, oh I wish I had some water. His puny little rodent brains might be cooked. Hey, Alfonso. 
Rapunzel. Quick, get me some water. Burrito con burbondos. Oh. Hey, a talking piñata. Oh, it's not a piñata, that's chatter. So they reach Alfonso's house, who I guess nobody likes because he gets things confused and it leads to trouble sometimes. Chatter, I know this kid. Everybody avoids him. He's always causing problems by getting things mixed up. Like chipmunks and piñatas. My guy is just a tad neurodivergent and apparently that makes you a pariah in Maricopa County. Look out, here comes another drive-by Jesus. Jesus is my life. He does shit the bed on a regular basis though. He's constantly torturing Chatter with hot sauce. This one is water and this one is hot sauce. Or is it the other way around? Yeah, it's the other way around. <laughs> Further boiling his useless brains. Little do they know that Sheriff Joe Arpaio is close on their heels. Will Chatter end up in jail? Will he ever get a drink of water? Will the sheriff fool all of the people all of the time? Will the sheriff fool all the people all the time? Why on earth is it phrased that way? What if he fools some of the people all of the time? Or vice versa? What if he fools some of the people some of the time? Riddle me this. So now we're on day three and we're still traveling to the fiesta. So here's my question. Does it always take a week to get to grandpa's? And when is this fiesta happening? What is the timeline here? It's such a confusing uh, framing device. Also, this young girl just disappears into the desert for three days and no one seems to care. So the gang makes it to May Barrio and they stumble across Joe Arpaio's campaign rally, which they decide to check out, unaware that they are wanted criminals. Uh, wow. I'm not sure if I want that guy for a leader. Jesus is the real leader. It's so peculiar that they just randomly invoke the name of Jesus. Like nothing they're doing draws from any specific teachings of Jesus. They just kind of shoehorn his name into situations. Chatter yet again proceeds to dump out the group's water source. These long speeches are always making me thirsty. I'll just get out my canteen. I wonder how many minutes this speech is gonna be. Chatter. It's a quarter after seven. Chatter! I hate you, Chatter. Maybe if you paid a little closer attention and you used your head, you wouldn't have to kiss it up to God so much. Here, Chatter, you can have some of mine. Now let's see. This one used to be hot sauce. This one used to be super hot sauce. But this one is definitely water. Alfonso, my guy, why are you carrying all of those three things around in the same container? Just put the hot sauce in a different container. I get it. You have a deficit, but you can overcome it with a little bit of strategizing and organizational skills. Oops, sorry. That super hot sauce fools me every time. Wait a minute, it's him! It's a chipmunk! It isn't long before they're discovered by the sheriff and promptly arrested. What are we doing in here? Now we'll never get to the fiesta. Will Chatter be imprisoned forever? Will he ever get that drink of water? You know, quite frankly, I don't really care if Chatter gets his water. He can just go ahead and die of thirst. So now we're on day four and the timeline doesn't get any clearer. Miranda gave herself like a weak margin to get to this fiesta. Or maybe this fiesta is just perpetually going on and it doesn't matter when you show up. Sure, we can prove we're not criminals. My grandpa Luis, he, he knows us. Yeah, we can call him. You have to let us make one phone call, sure. I do not. This is kidnapping, right? Seems unconcerned about contacting their families. He straight snatched up these kids. Another Arpaio move. Anyway, they're locked in jail and they're feeling a little hopeless. So they just bust out the holy name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we'll never get out of here. Don't worry, Alfonso. Jesus is our savior. These donuts are making me thirsty. Huh. Think I'll have a drink out of one of these damn things. So apparently Jesus comes in the form of the sheriff drinking hot sauce and dropping his keys, and uh, the gang is free. Hallelujah. Miranda and Chatter are too chicken to leave the cell, but Alfonso, he's like, smell you later. Isn't escaping from jail against the law? You can stay if you want, but I'm going to Grandpa Luis's. See you later. So we hit day five. According to this bizarre framing device, this all takes place over the course of a work week. Miranda and Chatter chase Alfonso through the desert and they run into some stock footage. Right, 
Jesus is our helper. He's our helper. He's our, ah! What is it? Over there, it's a big, hairy monster. We can be brave with Jesus' help. Speaking of help, it looks like Alfonso needs some. We've got to get him some water. Let's go. They finally find Alfonso, but are themselves found by the campaign manager and the sheriff. Miranda gets snatched up and Chatter's like, whatever. Chatter gets Alfonso his water and says some more Jesus shit. Here's some water, Alfonso. <sighs> hey, no smoke came out of my ears. Thanks. Jesus helped me to be brave. But it isn't long before Mr. Arpaio and his campaign manager emerge from the desert. And then some journalists show up. We're with me, Barrio News. Oh, good, good. Take my picture from this side. Sheriff, is it true that you captured the bank robbers who broke out of jail? So Chatter reveals that he is not the wanted criminal, that it was actually the campaign manager, Miss Stickler. Where's that wanted poster, Miss Stickler? Right here. Now anyone can see. Hey, there's my tape, the tail on the chipmunk picture. Well, I'll be a chipmunk's uncle. He uncovers a straight up political scandal. In order to save face, the sheriff arrests Velma Lou, and the group finally make it to the fiesta and sing a song about Jesus that I can't show to you because of copyright reasons. The end. And how do we feel after having taken this journey? Do we feel the warm embrace of our Christ and Savior Jesus? Or do we feel like breaking stuff and touching tips with Satan? Absolutely unequivocally Satan. Chatter's antics filled my heart with rage and malice. And by the end, I feel like he needed to answer for his bullshit. Thanks for watching, everybody. I am Tape Goat, and remember, it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are?